Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, it's good to be back again. And um, you know, today <laughs> we will be doing something pretty cool. Linux permissions. And um, this is not um, the basic permissions which we already know of seen. I think I have a video of uh, that on my YouTube channel. Uh, this particular one will be looking at ACLs and how we can go find grain granularity when it comes to permissions and uh, access to files on the Linux system. So the outline will be covering first the basic file system permission, then um, we will we'll view ACLs, then we'll learn how to create fine grain ACLs, then uh, we'll get hands on into the demo. <laughs> okay, so let's quickly run through our slides. A brief talk on five permissions in ACL. Well, among the challenge of administering Linux, obviously, uh, it's in modern business environment, is the expectation that we can and should manage uh, who access what files. Uh, in the regular Windows environment, you create users and you put them in groups, then you give them access, which is what it should be anyways. Even in the cloud environment, you create groups, then you put users in groups, then you accept a lot and attach rights and permissions to groups if you belong to the group you can perform a job role or do stuff but if you're not in that group you're restricted okay well that's um, a better way to go about this but on a linux environment how do we manage this so we see um the idea of uh, linux file system coming into play which gives us uh, the user the group and others uh, which we're going to look at the probably basic the user is the owner of the file the group is the owner's group then everyone else global now with these permissions we can grant five types of access three for now then the other ones which we'll be looking at as we proceed the first three is the read write and execute so you probably would have seen that uh, uh 777 or 744 or whatever the case is uh, the read um it's got the four the write it's got two then execute it's got one so if i have 777 it means i'm giving the user full rights and permissions the group full rights and permission then everybody else on the internet that's crazy <laughs> full rights and permission which is not a good thing to do not at all okay now here goes an illustration say you have a directory where files from an accounting department leave you might set these permissions to maybe look at that that d stands for the directory read write executes the user read write execute for the group then read and executes for everybody else well this is still not okay this is still not okay because if I'm not in account, if I'm not an accountant, accountant, and I'm not in accounting group, I can still read and execute. So what if there is actually something confidential in there? I shouldn't have access to. Obviously, I can read it. Obviously, I can read it. Okay, here goes an explanation. We see the accounting service user, accounting groups, then others as well, which is bad idea now a better idea would be maybe what we have but still this is not granular the way we want this to go special permissions can control settings like owners of the files of a new file created in a directory we can even use sticky bits uh, which we're not covering in the session uh, uh, which control whether members of the group can actually delete each other files but we're not covering sticky bits in this particular recording if you would want me to cover that leave a comment and i'll be glad to do a video in a spare time for that okay so here goes our scenario now um for us to view acls we're going to work with this scenario so what if you have an accounting intern kenny who needs to be able to read certain files Interns, interns, that reminds of the Facebook news, interns actually shutting down stuff, okay? Uh, this is not, I was once an intern, so I'm not picking on the intern anyways. So we see, or even just the file owned by Fred, his manager, or maybe people in the sales department also need access to an accounting owner's file to create invoice for Fred's team in order to build customers, but you don't want the sales team to see the other reports that Fred's team generates. Now we're trying to do this segregation of duty in here. The situation can be tricky because with regular permissions, which we've seen read and execute, we cannot go that fine granularity in this context. Each file and directory can have only one user and group owner at a time. So we cannot assign that file uh, folder to this user and this user as well, and uh, maybe this group and this group as well, no. But we can use ACLs to manage that. So this type of situation is what Linux access control lists were intended to resolve. The ACLs allow us to 
apply a more specific set of permissions to file a directory well this is the talking parts without necessarily changing the base ownership at some point you can even restrict the base owner from assessing that file if we want to do that which we're going to see later on the let us track assess for other users or group now to view um i'm going to jump into my terminal if i um okay i'm going to connect to i need to start the server which we'll be doing this stuff on then uh, i have to connect to it so i'll be back okay so we got the server running i'm going to connect to it using ssh uh put in the password okay so we're in that uh, server we'll be working text based only today so currently this is where we're sitting okay so let's say we create uh let's create uh okay let's not jump too fast i'm just going to maybe there's a particular file in there i'm just going to run that command uh on the current directory so that's background so what if we run that gets f a c l um is this is this a thing? Okay, great. We run this on uh, Vagrant. Oh, there's no such directory as Vagrant. Mm, okay, so we're going to make a directory called Accounting. Or create a user called Accounting and make a directory called uh, Accounting. Then attach that to the user. Then we'll view the ACLs on that directory. All right. Okay, I, I don't want to jump into the demo because you have a demo for that. So I just want to show the command. So I ran this on home. Now we can see home. The file is home. The owner is roots. The group is roots. Now this is not a root user actually. This is not a root prompt. Then the user um, has read writes. The group has read execute and others have read execute. Well, this is normal. Uh, but again, if this was a, maybe a specific directory attached to maybe accountant or accounting or maybe another department, uh, I want to better streamline others except i'll have to manage that using the acls which you're going to cover okay great so now moving on we've seen how to run that command just to view so the sets which will be the next so we've got the syntax we we'll use the set f acl then we'll pass in the option the action the specification then the file now the action would be either we're using the minus m to modify or minus x to remove so we can maybe make changes to or we can completely strip off and the specification would be the user or group followed by the permission we want to set so in this context specification could be a user like an accountant fred or all an it person james or whoever the name be then the um, group as well can be specified in that context in this case we will set the minus d as default so we'll go with the command which you can see here can I, minus d as default so to set the default acl for this directory we would execute so let's go create this directory and create this user as well uh, let's just quickly jump in and probably create all the users and all the directories then we can now come back to go on with our task so i'm going to create a user accountant i'll create a user sales user fred kenny lisa then i will create a, a, a home directory for them as well so we can have them having their home directory in that context okay we'll see how that works out in the jeep in a moment okay so at the start of the demo first we're going to create three groups we'll create group accounting group sales and group maybe it so we're going to um, use the group command so we can do the group add okay um, i'm just going to call this accounting okay i need to pass this sudo command there um okay then we're going to repeat this um i'm just going one after the other just to show you guys how this stuff works you can actually do all of them in the stream so we'll do sales then we will also do it okay so we've got uh all those groups created now the next thing which we're going to do is to create users accounts with home directory then we'll now assign these users to groups so to create a user with a home directory uh we're going to use the um, user add or sudo sudo command to it user add minus m then the username so we'll do the sudo user add the first user which we have there we'll call this accountants then we need to pass the minus m so we can actually 
create the home directory for that user. Okay. Um, oh, user group accounting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I already created a group accounting. Uh, okay, I'm just going to call this user add accounting. Okay, group accounting like this. If you want to add this group, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, great. Uh, I'll create the user then add him to the group. That's fine. Okay, so I'll repeat the same for uh, Fred. Creating home directory for them. What else do we have there? We have Fred. We have uh, Lisa, Kenny, and we have Lisa. So we've got all these users. If I do ls minus al on the home, just to see. Oh, this is not very clear, but I, I hope you can actually see. There is a uh, Lisa. There is Kenny. Uh, then uh, there should be we created Fred as well. There's Fred over there, so we can see the accountant here as well. Okay, so we are good to go. Um, I want a long list. Why didn't it uh, give me a long list? Okay, better. <laughs> All right, great. So just want to showcase that uh, uh, we can see over the thing. For instance, the accountant. Accountant has got a group accountant. Okay, we're going to move them to. Um, like an accountant to move into the accounting group which we had created and also fred will move to it then uh, maybe kenny and lisa will move to sales group so let's quickly do that then proceed okay so we run the command uh, again with the pseudo flag uh is uh user mode then we'll pass the minus a minus g flag we're going to add uh, maybe accounting group let's add the accountants to that group okay that works pretty really fine then we're going to repeat this command uh it we're adding fred to it then we're adding um sales uh, sales it's uh what are the names again um okay there's lisa and i think uh i forgot the other name it's lisa and uh Kenny. Okay, so again, I'm going to clear the screen and I'm going to run that uh, LSLA. Okay, great. Now we can see we still have what we have. They still retain kind of like the accountant over here. Um, we see Fred over here. We see Lisa over here, but we've added them to the groups which we want to add them to. Then we'll be assigning tasks to those groups actually. Okay, so we're going to do a bit of cleanup. Uh, 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 um, so we can assign the primary group to those three groups that you have created as accounting, sales, and IT. So I've done four. Um, uh, um, you can see the command I ran over here. I've done changing the primary group of uh, accountant to accounting. I'm just going to repeat the same thing over here. I think I can just use the arrow button. Then I'll change the primary group um, of Fred to IT. Then I'm just going to remove the user the group del delete the group call. Uh what's the group called? Fred. Okay, great. Then we we'll repeat the same thing. Uh changing the primary group sales for um the user Kenny. Then also we'll change for the user Lisa. Okay, so we can delete that group um kenny as well as the group lisa okay now if i run clear the screen ls minus a l on home we can see that fred belongs to it accountant belongs to accounting then lisa and uh, kenny belongs to sales which is what we want to see okay great now we've done the first part of this challenge we're going to go over the second part we're going to probably create some files and put in these uh, um, folders kind of like and see how we can now start managing access based on what we've created trying to make this pretty short i don't want this to go beyond 20 so i may be fast at some point 
Okay, also thought it would be cool to just quickly showcase how to change if I want to strip off uh, um, maybe permissions on this accounting, for instance, the only the um, accountant and the accounting group. I can use a CH mod, or maybe just to showcase that stuff. I can either use the um, 770 to change that thing. The 770 basically is a um, redress execute for user and group, then nothing for others. Then I can pass that over to the directory. Uh, that should be in the home accountants. Okay, oh sorry, um, I need to pass the sudo command over that thing. Uh, okay, so ls minus al, uh, we would see, sorry, I clear this thing, ls minus al on uh, the home directory. We will see we've changed stuff a bit now. There is uh, nothing for everybody else, it's just read, write, execute for the user and the group. So they know the file had made the change. Okay, great. Now we can repeat the same thing for Fred as well as for Kenny, but I'll keep these ones open for now uh, so we can go through the work uh, uh, workflow. Now we've seen how to view. Let's say we want to view again. Let's just view the ACL, uh, 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 which we probably had showcased in the start. If I want to view the ACL on those file, I can use the uh, get ACL. Let's pass that quickly. Okay, get FACL, then we're going to pass in the home accountants. Okay, great. We can see the file, uh, the owner, and the group. Now we can see the permission again. Read, write, execute, read, read, write, execute, and nothing for others. Okay, so keep watching that because we'll be making a few changes as we proceed in this stuff. So let's say we want to set ACLs and we want to be a bit, a bit more specific, probably restricting stuff. Now I'm going to set, I'm getting a notification, where is that coming from? Okay, I'm going to quickly set an ACL, uh, uh, um, maybe for this accounting, and do a bit of restriction. So if I run the command uh, sudo set FACL, then I'm going to pass the minus D minus M, then uh, which we talked about later, uh, earlier. So I'm going to pass in the accounting, uh, uh, accountant, Give him reader this kit and also pass the directory. Let's see, O U N T N T. Then um, we'll put R O W X here. Then accounting. Mm, no such file in the directory. Okay, I need to create a file. Mm. Okay, I need to create a file in that directory. I'm going to just do that quickly and probably use a touch command. Okay, so we will quickly um, so accountants uh i didn't set a password for accountant i think uh did i set a password okay let me quickly set a password for accountants uh so we will um set a password for accountant uh, okay so we sue accountant. Oh, sorry, my bad. Okay, we're in. Uh, okay, uh, current working directory. We can go into accountant now. We are in accountant, so we just touch a file, file one dot text. Create a file in there. So we can see the file we just created, um, touch file one. This file is owned by accountants and accounting group. Okay, great. Now we've got a file and I'm going to just go back. Uh, again, we're good to go at this point. So what we're going to do basically, let's see if we can set the FCR. Uh, we are still accountants. So let's try and run that command sets FACL. So we're going to pass that D minus M, then we're going to pass, in this context, we're going after accountants, um, wrong spelling, <laughs> uh, we'll pass the read, write, execute, then 
accounting directory no such file okay we'd set this for the maybe um file one dot text um okay i'm gonna have to check this stuff up okay i think i have a bit of problem which was just me overlooking something really <laughs> cryptic. so um the challenge was the fact that um i was in the directory where this accountant directory was actually sitting so i didn't pass the slash so um I probably would have just called the name and that would have worked out fine which was obviously what i did right here verifying it then also running it over here so we can clearly see that um, we've set the um, ACL for this particular accountant. Now the file is accountant, the owner is accountant, the group is accounting, the user has read rights, the group read rights, others no. Now we set a default by passing that minus D flag there. So the default um, user is read rights, default user accountant read rights, then default group read write, then also default mask read write, but others nothing. So now we can see that we're going granular, but we're still not as granular as we intend to go yet because this is still kind of like a basic. We want to maybe streamline this thing or strip off a bit of, make this thing a little bit more complex, not as easy as it seems. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, open another terminal session here, then I'm going to set up another SSA session into that. I'm just going to copy the IP address of the remote server. Uh, so I'm going to SSH. Uh, that's 192.168. Dot, uh, was it 8.194? Okay. All right. So we will um, sue Fred in here. I didn't create a password for Fred yet, so I will have to set a password for Fred. My bad. Um, Okay, so my batch. Okay, great. So we'll exit this, then we'll sue Fred, put in the password. Okay, so we are Fred at the moment. So right here as Fred, uh, let's go into the home. And uh, Fred is IT, I think. Um, I'm just gonna see, what do I have in there? Go into Fred. Okay, so right here we will create, um, Fred belongs to IT group. So let's just create a file touch. Um, let's call this file two the text then just put something in there uh, sorry then we'll pass this into file the text okay great now we're good to go we've got a file in there which is Fred and IT group have access to that file only. Okay, great. So we can clearly see that by running the ls minus al command in that file, in that particular directory the file sits, and we can see that stuff sitting in there. So what if we want to make this a little bit granular? Probably we add a particular set of access control to this thing. Let's see how that stuff can work out for us. Okay, so what I've done basically is to set that ACL. Again, this is Fred. Fred created a file and basically we can see on that file the ACL is kind of like um, read writes for user group only read and others only read which we can lock down so what we've done basically is on the Fred directory we've actually set this special ACL permission so we can see that right there uh, we can see the plus s plus uh, sorry my tap 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 two plus showing us there that there is a special ACL on this directory. So if I run the maybe get FACL, 
on that particular directory which is Fred we can see that yes there is defined a special now what happens if this user um, who is in this case it was accountant try to create a file into that directory do you think they can actually do that we're going to experiment on that and see if it works out so let's say um, this user where we are accountants okay we're in currently we're in accountants and um, the user is accountants so let's say we touch uh, we'll go one step back then in here we've got that uh, Fred directory as well which is this so let's say uh, although I didn't strip that uh, read write read execute well let's give it a test so let's say um, touch in the Fred Fred directory we'll create a file maybe we'll call this tests.txt okay so we see that um, da -da 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 -da, permission denied so we cannot do that uh, what if we try to ls minus el on that uh, Fred directory we can list the contents because remember we still have the read access set up for it we can read so if I strip off the read, um, I cannot write. Now, if I strip off the read, if I strip off the executes, obviously this will come into implementation. It means uh, um, this user cannot do nothing on that directory, uh, which has been locked. But what if we want to assign, maybe the user will want to allow them to be able to do something on that, as in the scenario which you had painted. This person should be able to assess Fred's directory and put stuff or take out stuff from there. How can we do this? We can use the we can create an ACL or set ACL to allow this user to be able to do that so let's see what if we want to do this what would be the better way to actually set a granular access control let's say we want to set that in here who am I we are still the accountants so in here that Fred owns let's say we want to set FCL uh, uh, for the user accountants to be able to rewrite and execute into this uh, directory so we're going to do the set of acl then we're going to pass in the minus m in this case the user is accountant we want to give them read read write execute okay that should be fine read write execute that should be fine then on the the whole folder is fred i think uh, we'll just pass that since i'm in directory fred Okay, great. Now we've done that. If I run the get FACL on um, that thread, we will see there's a bit of change. So we can see the user thread. We can as well see the user accountant over here. This is the default settings, but we've actually assigned accountants to be able to do a task, read that as a kit in that folder. So let's go back and quickly verify. So we're going to run this again. Now you can see this run successfully. If we list the contents in that thread, we will see our tests and it was created by the user accountant in accounting department. Now this is one way you can granular, uh, you use a granular method to manage who can do stuff. The restriction has been placed. Any other user who has not been defined here Trust me, we will not be able to do anything in this directory. We could try that up with our Lisa user. But again, this video is getting pretty long and I don't like long videos. Okay, so let's spend one more scenario. So let's say, uh, but if, what if we, we do not want the user to create files in the accounting directory? Instead, we only want them to be able to read the files. Remember, we're giving them read as a kit. So don't want them to do that. We only want them to read. We'll go back in here. We'll go back to that our command. We will strip off writes. We can even strip off executes. Just give them only read because, uh, well, accountants should only read maybe invoices and don't do anything else. So I can lock that person down by using this. I'm just going to run this command. Now, if I go back and I try to create again, you will see what happens. Permission deny. I cannot do that because I've actually locked them. They cannot create a file. They can only read the content. But if I try to ls minus al. I can still read the content but now look at what is happening <laughs> pretty much interesting <laughs> so we can see the permissions are locked i cannot see the permissions now that's the security mechanism since i have used an acl implemented on that directory 
and this user can only read i don't want them to understand the permission set on everything else so i have to strip those permissions off also strip the user and the group off so they cannot actually see who owns what in that directory which is also a security mechanism to implement to help you keep safe now let's say we make kenny the owner of the folder which we can actually do we can make a directory for kenny make kenny the owner of the folder we can still do the more stuff but i think i'm going to stop this video here and uh, if you want to see more of this content please let me know i will be glad to record a version two of this to go find more fine granular we'll see that we can even restrict fred who owns this to be able to view certain files in this if we want to do that and uh, uh, if you want to see that leave a comment like the content leave a comment and i'll be glad to also showcase that to you guys and um, i will be calling this off here today thanks for your time and i'll see you in the next recording yeah bye